Hey everyone, my name is Nolan, welcome back to another Pixelgun 3D video. And today we're on my main account because there is a new trader's van that you guys definitely need to buy. I have everything in it, um, so I'll just kind of show you guys the weapons that there are. There is the pencil spear, the eraser crossbow, and the ink spreader. And the reason why you guys want to get all of these weapons together, the weapons themselves aren't that great um, apart from each other, however together, they give you extra points for getting kills and just playing the game. I'm sorry, that's a Discord notification. Um, but basically, I don't know if I'll be able to scroll down and find it fast enough. But uh, the reason why this point, the set is just so good is because it allows you to farm points in deathmatch, teamfight, whatever it may be. Yeah, additional points for actions in match. It's like the cape of gifts or whatever it is. It helps you guys complete battle pass challenges faster because usually there is an elite challenge where you have to yeah 90,000 points that's not a lot but it can be difficult to get if you guys don't have extra points I think the only other way that you guys can get an extra point set is if you go into the gallery holy cow who is DMing me I think the only other extra point set that's available is this one right here the soul card set I think it's the only one I believe you can get it with coupons but like the invincible line set or whatever it is is not actually available because sly wolf cannot be got for coupons so there is one available for 3,000 coupons if you guys have that but if you don't and you have excessive gems to spend might as well get this set because it'll be very useful to have but let's quit yapping and start getting some gameplay here and let's also fix my discord notifications <laughs> so I'll just show you guys what that looks like really quick by spamming golden friend if I get a kill oh yeah you guys can see that right there normally assists are five points but right there it was ten points instead it's not always double points uh, there are some actions that are not exactly double most of the time the actions are double points but there are some i don't remember i think it's like getting a double kill or getting a headshot isn't a uh, double yeah yeah i think it's a double kill is 60 points instead of i think i think it's normally 50 points so that's not double but it is extra but there are a lot of actions that are double points like just getting a regular kill is double because it goes from um 15 to 30 but yeah it just kind of varies so it's kind of inconsistent uh, but yeah, I, I love extra point sets. They are extremely useful for farming deathmatch points. So definitely get that if you ever need it. Okay, let's move on to like reviewing the actual weapons now. Um, I don't remember how good they are. I reviewed this set somewhat recently. However, I don't know if they've gone through changes or anything. Um, if I remember correctly, the pencil spear was all right. It wasn't like the greatest. Um, I don't actually remember though. I think maybe it was bad. I don't, I don't remember. It'd be, it'd be cool if I could actually hit a shot here, but everyone has been... Oh, I just got that kill stolen. So maybe I got him kind of weak. Maybe it's going to be like... Dude, I'm getting one shot by everything. Um, what the heck? Okay, <laughs> anyways, let's, let's talk about the game, okay? Because the game right now is freaking crazy. And I don't think I have died to a weapon that is not one shot this whole game, which is crazy. So the game had like some kind of DDoS attack earlier today. People were not able to play the game. Um, the game has just been freaking insane for hackers recently. I, I knew that it was going to happen. I saw it coming a mile away. PC, Steam release, I knew that it was just going to be prime hackers. This guy moves too fast for me to even hit him with this uh, pencil weapon. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just saw it coming a mile away. There are so many hackers. Literally every time I log into the game, I get a hacker. I don't know if I'll get him as much at the higher level, but I get him all the time in my lower level account. Uh, when I'm like playing Battle Royale or just regular games. I had two hackers in the same game earlier, which was freaking crazy, dude. Um, okay, so yeah, this weapon, I was right. It's kind of mid. It's not like insanely good. I think it just has a very high hitbox. So on a map like War of Toys specifically, there are a lot of things that can get, it can get stuck on, and then it just prevents you from hitting your enemy. Like, what was that? Okay, so that didn't... Yeah, so that despawned right there. So even though the crosshair isn't on that object... The, the rocket still hits the object, and then it despawns, so you can't actually get a kill. So you have to be very careful uh, where you're throwing it, so that way it doesn't, like, hit an obstacle and despawn, because you, you, I don't know, it's just kind of hard to use. Um, so would I recommend you guys spend all your gems on this weapon? Absolutely not. Let's move on to the sniper. This sniper shoots in three directions, so if you guys remember, like, Prime Aphrodite Crossbow, how good that was. That, this weapon is kind of similar to that. It just doesn't have charm, which makes it a little bit worse. However, it's still going to be about a two-shot every single time. I don't think it's going to one-shot uh, if you hit all three rockets. Um, I mean, that was a one-shot. So let me see if I can get someone here. Okay, I don't know if that guy just spawned in. Okay, maybe it does one-shot if you hit all three. <laughs> I don't really know. This guy just spawned in. Okay, it does. If you hit all three on a headshot, it does one-shot. So this sniper is actually going to be very good at close range, but... 
that's that's the main caveat here is close is that guy hacking because i've died to him so many times but I've, he's never actually been alive when he's killed me and that's usually an indicator that he's hacking uh i don't know i haven't seen him this whole game and he has like 20 something kills where is he where is dennis where where is my man at where'd he go yeah oh he's he's got to be hacking He's just not alive. He, he's outside the map. Maybe he's, uh, isn't there like a Wi-Fi glitch or something where you can like be not connected to the game, but you're still connected to the game. It's like a weird thing. I don't know. Who cares? I'm reporting him. I'm sick of people ex like just breaking the game. I, I have been like just reporting everyone I've seen. The problem is I don't think the developers are seeing them at all because they're just way too busy freaking doing whatever it is they're doing. I don't even know what they're doing, but like this is crazy. Like I can't even play this game right now. Because this dude, who is invincible, is just killing the entire lot. Like, what? Okay, that, that missile came from this way. So, is he sitting somewhere in a corner here? Maybe? I mean, because I know that Wave Pulsar users do that. They sit behind an obstacle and use x-ray goggles. I don't think he is. I think that he's just glitched outside of the map. Can I see him through the window, maybe? That'd be really funny. Yeah, no. I have no idea where he is. Uh, oh, that came from that direction. And there's no one over there. So, what is going on? Dennis, my man. Dennis, what are you doing? Yeah, okay, this bow is pretty good. Um, if you guys are lower level, it will probably be, it will probably get you pretty good gameplay. Um, if you guys like to play close range maps. Uh, lower or higher level people though, I don't really recommend you guys get this unless you're getting the full set. Just because by now you've had access to way better snipers than this. Like anti-hero rifle. Anti-hero rifle is just better than this, so... I'd probably recommend you guys get that instead. So the next one is the ink sprayer. I don't even remember what this does. Okay, it does shoot a rocket, so that's kind of nice. I, I, for some reason, I thought it was a, a stream beam weapon. Um, okay, I was able to kill him. I want to see like what the attributes are. Okay, blindness. That's what it does. Okay, so if you guys don't have a blindness weapon, this might be worth it to get. Uh, however, it's just kind of your generic heavy. It has fixed delay, right? Yeah, so you can't really use it for three cat. So, I mean, you can spam it. It's going to get like a two shot. It's going to be a two shot every single time, which is kind of nice. But a lot of heavies are. So, if you guys don't have a two shot heavy for some reason at your stage in the game, this might be worth getting. Um, but otherwise, I wouldn't like spend your gems on just a generic two shot heavy. However, what the heck? Does this thing do a ton of damage? Was I, was I wrong about this one too? This thing seems to be pretty freaking good. Oh my gosh, there's another wave pulsar user. Is this dude at least visible and able to kill? Because I'm... Okay, he is. <laughs> I was gonna say, this is another Dennis. Dennis the Menace. Did I just say that? What the cringe? I was about to, like, lose my crap. Dude, I think this heavy might actually be good. <laughs> I was not ready for this. I'm in first place right now. I do have extra points, remember. Because that is the point of the set. But, I am in first place. And I am getting a lot. This thing has a really high AoE. Its AoE is gigantic. Like, bro, this thing is huge. What the? Where did you go? Where'd you go? You're dead. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, got it. I finally got him. Holy cow. Also, our clan has been popping the frick off this week, dude. We started like one or two days late because like, I think I started on like Wednesday or Thursday when I realized, oh crap, clan war is a thing. And we were like in dead last. And um, since then, we've been able to pull ahead and we're up to second. We might be able to get first, but I doubt it. Does that, uh, do you guys know if that wave pulser skin adds damage to the wave pulser? The, the poison one that this guy's using. Um, if it does, I hate this game. <laughs> I know it adds the poison effect, but not including the poison effect, does it add damage? Because there is a weapon skin that adds damage. I can't... Oh, gosh, my monitor... I, I'm playing through OBS because my monitor turned... Okay, it's back. <laughs> so for some reason, my monitor's just been turning off recently. Uh, so right now, I can't see the game on my main monitor. I'm playing through the tiny screen on OBS. Um, I don't know why it does this. I don't know if it's pixel gun or what, but my, my monitor just shuts off. Like, it's plugged in and everything. It's working fine. Anything in the trader's van worth it? The whole thing. The whole thing is worth it, but the weapons themselves, apart from each other, are not that great. All right, I got to figure out what's going on with my monitor, but I think for now, that's probably uh, good enough there. You guys probably can tell how good these weapons are, so I think I'll probably wrap up the video there. So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye!